Hello and welcome to the BMC Quick Course Series. My name is Barry Williams. I'm a software consultant for the BMC MainView products. In this section you'll learn how to use MainView for CICS to view task history. We'll take a quick look at summary intervals, a few fast path commands, the time command, and the web browser interface. Summary intervals allows you to summarize historical data on an interval basis. Valid values are 1, 5, 10, 15, 30, 60, and 1,440 minutes. On the primary menu in Main View for CICS, in the upper right hand corner, place your cursor on History menu and press Enter. On the History menu, in the upper left hand corner, place your cursor on Quick Selection and press Enter. Tab down to the Summary Interval field and enter 5 for 5 minutes. By default this field is blank, in which case you get normal task history. On the other hand, if you enter a value in this field, then you'll summarize by time interval. Here we get one row per CICS region per 5 minute interval. If you look at the third column, you'll see that we start at midnight and we go in 5 minute increments for each CICS region. To focus on a single CICS region, enter a context command. Now we get one row per 5 minute interval for the single CICS region. To drill down into a specific 5 minute interval, place the cursor on the date field in the second column. In this case, we're going to focus on the interval with the highest average response time, which by coincidence is the first interval. Here we get the interval history menu. Place the cursor on interval overview and press enter. Now we see a detailed overview of all the activity that occurred in the five minute interval, including average response time, average suspend time, CPU time, response time ranges, and high watermarks. Press PS3 to return to the interval history menu. Place the cursor on elapsed time data and press enter. Here we get a breakdown of the elapsed time for the five minute interval. Press PS3 to return to the interval history menu. Place the cursor on CPU time data and press enter. Here we see a breakdown of the CPU time, averaged across all of the transactions that executed within the 5 minute interval. Press PS3 twice to return to the task history view. When you drill down from the date column, you get the interval history menu. On the other hand, if you drill down from the other columns, then you'll get the appropriate detailed view bypassing the interval history menu. For example, place the cursor on the elapsed time field in the third column and press enter. And here we see the same detailed overview that we saw earlier. Press PS3 to return to the task history view. Now place the cursor on the average response time field and press enter. And now we see the same elapsed time breakdown that we saw earlier. Press PS3 to return to the task history view. Now scroll up and down looking at the average response CPUs, suspend, storage, and I.O. columns looking for spikes in performance. Place the cursor on the number of task field and press enter. And now we get one row per task that executed within the five minute interval. Place the cursor on the response time field for the task that has the highest response time. And now we get detailed elapsed time breakdown for the offending transaction. Let's take a quick look at two of the task history fast path commands. See History and See Hist. See History will display the Quick Selection menu. On the other hand, See Hist bypasses the Quick Selection menu and navigates directly to the Task History view. From any screen within Main View for CICS, enter See History in the command line and press Enter. And you will navigate directly to the Task History Quick Selection menu. On the other hand, if you enter see hist in the command line and press enter, you will navigate directly to task history, bypassing the quick selection menu, starting at midnight of the current day by default. Let's take a look at a few examples of using the time command with task history. On the quick selection menu, tab down to the record count field and enter 10,000 for the maximum number of rows to return. For the start date and time and end date and time fields, allow them to default to asterisk and press enter. 
and here we get task history starting at midnight and if you scroll to the bottom then you see we have task history coming up to the current date and time. On the other hand if we return to the quick selection menu and clear out the start date and time then instead of starting at midnight then it will return the last interval of history by default the last 15 minutes. In this case you may get a message saying there is no data that satisfies your request indicating there were no tasks that executed within the last 15 minutes. Now of course you may not see this in a high volume production system but you may see it in a low volume system or a test system or in this case a demo system. You may also see a low number of results. In this case I only had three tasks that executed within the last 15 minutes. In these situations you can enter the time command. For example I'm going to ask for the last eight hours of history. And here you can see I get task history starting at 1058 and if I scroll down to the bottom then I have task history up into the current date and time representing eight hours worth of task history. In a similar fashion I can ask for the last four intervals of history. In this case by default an interval is 15 minutes. And here I get task history starting at 1800 hours and if I max down to the bottom then I had task history all the way up into 1857 representing the last four intervals of task history or in this case one hour. Finally let's take a quick look at the web browser interface. The first thing you see when you log on to MainView Explorer is the topology. The topology is good for seeing how MainView is deployed across your enterprise but it's also good for accessing the underlying MainView products themselves. For example here if we expand system BMCA and then we click on MainView for CICS then we can see all the CICS regions that are being monitored by MainView on that particular system. If you double click on a specific CICS region then the context will be set to that region and the bottom left hand tree structure will be populated. In the bottom left hand tree structure expand the history branch then scroll down to see history and double click which displays the quick selection pop-up menu where you can enter five in the summary interval field and then click go. The results of the task history are presented under a separate tab where I have one row per five minute interval for the specific CICS region. Now instead of using the topology to navigate to a main view I prefer to use the tree structure in the upper left hand corner. In this case I clicked on the product tab and then I expanded the main view for CICS branch and then I scroll down to the context that I wanted and I right click and I do a set SSI context. That populates the bottom left hand tree structure where I have main view for CICS set to my context of all. And then I expand it to history branch. I scroll down to see history view and then I right click and I say open view. The results are presented under a separate tab, a see his tab, where I can see that I have all of my history for all of my CICS regions. To export the task history into a CSV file, then click on the export view data tool on the toolbar. That's the cylinder with a blue arrow on top. You'll get a pop-up window asking for a target file name. And then click save. That'll store a CSV file and here I'm using Windows Explorer to open that file into Microsoft Excel. And here we can see the result in Microsoft Excel that we have all of our task history in a CSV file. For more information please visit the BMC support site.